This tutorial explains how to use cyclic symmetry in LISA. If the geometry and loading is regularly repeated, about an axis of rotation, cyclic symmetry can be used in static, modal vibration, and steady thermal analysis. By using cyclic symmetry, instead of modeling the entire wheel, only one segment has to be modeled. In this example, a modal vibration analysis will be performed. Right-click the default analysis type, to change it to three-dimensional, modal vibration. Type the number of modes as three. In cyclic symmetry, this will be the number of modes reported for each nodal diameter. Nodal diameters, are points of zero displacement in mode shapes. The maximum number of nodal diameters, is approximately, half the specified number of cyclically symmetric segments. Which is 6 for this example. The total number of modes reported will be, 3 modes for 0 nodal diameter, 3 modes for 1 nodal diameter, 3 modes for 2 nodal diameters, so on, and so forth. Therefore, the total number of modes reported, will be 21. Right-click the component in the outline tree, to assign a material to the elements. In the mechanical tab, select isotropic, then type the Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio, and density. Cyclic symmetry uses the concept of master, and slave nodes. The master nodes have to be on one side of the segment and the slave nodes on the other side of the segment. The number of master nodes, must be equal to the number of slave nodes, and both should have the same nodal pattern, as internally, Lisa matches each master to a corresponding slave node, and couples their degrees of freedom together. Activate the Select Faces mode. Select the faces on one side of the segment. Then switch to the Select Nodes mode. The master nodes are now selected. Right-click named selections, then select new node selection. Right-click the node named selection in the outline tree, and rename it to master. Similarly, create a node named selection for the slave nodes. Right-click Loads and Constraints, then select New Cyclic Symmetry. For the Master Named Selection, select Master. For the Slave Named Selection, select Slave. Choose Y, for the Axis of Symmetry. Type 12, for the Number of Segments. Cyclic Symmetry is now applied to the model. Cyclic symmetry was not applied to the nodes on the inner diameter, as they will be constrained with a normal fixed support along the X, Y and Z axes. Activate the Select Faces mode. Select the faces at the hub. Right-click Loads and Constraints, then select New Fixed Support. Next, solve the model. To view the results, click the modes in the solution section of the outline tree. Although only one segment was modeled, the results will display the whole wheel. Use the animation tool, to view the vibration mode shape. This ends the cyclic symmetry tutorial. Please view the other tutorials to learn more of Lisa's capabilities.